One of the things that's important for any economy, uh, any society, is constant renewal. And one of the engines of renewal, the prime engine of renewal of our economy, are our national research institutions. If one looks at the major innovations that have taken place over the last 20 to 30 years in this country, you can trace them always back to uh, some idea that comes out of a major research university. The research university is where the knowledge is produced. There are lots of colleges and schools that teach what's produced in the research university, but only the research university is doing both, producing it and teaching it. We had a major step forward at the time of the Civil War, the time of World War II, and those relationships between universities and government. Now it's time for the third wave, and it includes federal government, state government, but it includes companies also. When we put that together, we can not only maintain our lead in the world, we can advance it. The new ideas, the innovation, the creativity for the future that ultimately results in job creation and greater prosperity of America is going to come from our research universities. Businesses are really dependent on research universities to create a pipeline of talent for us. Without a pipeline of talent, businesses starve. Prosperity for this decade and every decade I can see will come from our people with talent and skill, and that's research universities. Many of the great schools of public health are in our nation's research universities. And that translates uh, to a very important aspect of improving the quality of care. The future of medicine, not only in the United States, but, but globally, is going to be centered you know, on the powerful work of America's research universities. The safety of America, of our kids, of the next generation, the security of America, Unlike in the past, where it was big ships and big military and all, it's ultimately going to come from the intellectual new ideas, the creativity, the responsiveness that's going to come out of our research universities. Research universities are enormously important to our society in a very broad sense. First of all, universities provide for upward mobility. They make education available to kids from all over, all levels of our society. This is what is so wonderful. This is what the rest of the world really looks to. When you think about the American dream, there is no better investment that can be made that I can think of than an investment in our research universities. There are some global challenges, some of which are plain physical facts which continue to grow. Are we going to have enough food? Can we provide the right kind of nutrition to a population of maybe nine billion? How can we uh, obtain all the fresh water resources that we need? How do we handle nuclear power safely and effectively? And it's hard to see any other sector in our society today able to deal with them except for higher education and research universities. America's research universities are one of the most treasured assets uh, that America has. They are a precious asset, but they are also an asset that cannot be taken for granted and just like everything else can become fragile. The global marketplaces have uh, become very competitive in the last, I would say, decade or so, uh, primarily driven by technology and connectivity. The emerging markets around the world, they know in order to become leaders in the future, need dominant, significant national research capabilities, just like we have, right? They aspire to be us. We need to redouble our efforts, double down on the assets that we've built over the last decades. We're not investing enough right now in higher education, and other nations are investing proportionately more because they're trying to imitate our model. We're defunding our model at the same time other nations are trying to build theirs up. And that puts American research universities in a very tough international competition. Our research universities, I believe, are at a tipping point. We are at the beginning of a crisis. We need to make sure this is on front and center uh, for everyone. It's an, it's an issue that if we lose momentum in this, we will lose competitiveness as a nation. My time at DuPont, we could tell how well our labs were running were the lights on at night. 
And if the lights were on all night, we knew we were, we were, things were really uh, turning out well. And, and what we need to do is have the lights on at night all across the country in, in businesses and research universities because people are so excited about what they're doing.